Check it out live in the place to be, y'all. It's your man, Knife Wonder. Grammy Award winning producer, DJ, college professor, member of the University of Zulu Nation. Shouts out to Africa Bambata and King DJ Mark Love. And checking out Hip Hop Wired. Peace. Right now, like you really putting a lot of people on. Got your own label. Whatever our own is. <laughs> <laughs> you giving everybody that, that knife on the coast, huh? Right. You know what I mean? So can you talk about your label and the artists that you're working with that you got under you? Like Rhapsody and, and Sky Zoo and artists That's like that. Proof, you know? And now uh, Tom Hardy, uh Tyler Woods and Heather V Heather Victoria, two of my R and B artists. Uh, two basketball players, TP and uh, GQ, the Soul Council. That's myself. Cash uh, for ten. Crisis E Jones Amp. And um, boy, I'm leaving out a person. I think that's all of us. Got a whole basketball team over there. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, just Big Remo, who is from my hometown. I mean, we Hollow, my man Hollow. I mean. These are cats that believed in my program. I watch a lot of sports, so especially like college basketball. So I'm like, you know, you can't go play for somebody if you don't understand that program. A lot of people want me to sign them or whatever. Then they find out when you get on my label, you got to work every day and you got to, you know, you got to follow my lead. Not worship me, but follow my lead. Don't get on Twitter saying stupid stuff. Don't do this and that and the third. I lead by example. And a lot of people can't deal with that quote unquote program that I run. And so, you know, outside of outside of Jamla, you know, I champion and I, and I, I we have a, a wonderful street internet street team by the name of Jamla Army. And they, you know, they they are, they, are, they they run our, you know, they run their mouth for us. Um but outside of the label, man, I'm a fan, and I quote unquote co-sign a lot of kids. Um, and I say kids, I'm 36. Some of these kids are 23. Um, uh, crit, big crit, man, Mac Miller, who who gave Rhapsody the opportunity to take on. He asked me, "Can Rhapsody come on tour?" Like, you know, Mac Miller, um, Lil B. Um, DC has an incredible movement. It's like the new Native Tongues. It's, you go places and you see kids, and they be multicultural. In DC, it's all black kids who are on this like 1989 De La Soul stuff. It's it's incredible, and they're all 16, 17, 18, 19 years old. So you got some kids up there that's doing it, man. There are a lot of a dope artists in North Carolina, King Mez. You know, we got our veterans. We got we got um. We got my man Kazi still doing it, you know. Really, one of the brothers that I really turn to sometimes when stuff is going down the NC that I really like, come on, we need to do better. So it's, it's a lot of kids out there that I really did. Scooby from Memphis. I mean, we can do this all day. I'm a fan of music, so it's, I, I find music that I like and I play it. You know what I'm saying? But as far as my team, that's who I officially am backing. That's my team. Okay, cool. Now, with your label, like how are you looking to take it? You know, now like a lot of majors, you know, they folding. Seem like everybody's going independent or staying independent. You looking to stay independent? You want to get a distribution deal? Or how you want to do your label? I mean, distribution is the best way because you get to create. You keep to keep. You get to keep creative control of what the music you want to put out to the masses. There's a price to pay with the music that you want to put out. If you wanna get to that plateau or you're all over TV and this and that and the third you must understand that the music that we make even in the height of hip hop the music that we quote unquote make the sound the things we choose to talk about was not the top of the hip hop it was MC Hammer I mean this is what we gotta understand this you know we had our tribes and our day lives but back then it was just a multitude of things that we could listen to but I understand now that you know and maybe I only have two or three artists that actually make it on TV. The rest of us want to travel the world and make money. If that's what, that's that's the plan, that's the biggest plan. And controlling, controlling your own destiny and controlling, you know, your own life, because you never want to sell your creativity and your art to somebody who doesn't understand it. 
and and that's you know and i think majors majors know that about me like <laughs> at this point it's like a knife he's a, oh god he's a, i don't want to know okay he's gonna come in with the hip-hop talk and that's fine but you know they they know what time it is and and i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do and we're gonna have fun doing it and make some money and make a impact if we wasn't making an impact then you guys wouldn't be here interviewing us i mean i get interviewed all day but when you ask to interview my artist it lets me know that i'm doing the right thing that's what it is